Greetings from the land of OP. I am Rob, the OP Gamer. And I am Joe, the Revelator. And we are here bringing you another episode of Surprise Builds. This is going to be my first episode ever with a new series that I'm going to be launching alongside to supplement my build spotlights I do. And uh, this is going to be where my guest of the day will be springing a build on me that they want to see me do that I have not heard of before. I have no idea what's in store for me, so hopefully some wacky zany times will ensue. And don't forget to catch me on YouTube and on my stream at Twitch, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The link for all of these is slash Rob the OP Gamer for each website. And uh, Joe here with me does write on a blog site at maskofmonsters.wordpress.com. I'll be putting a link in the description below for that. He does tabletop commentary and media reviews, so if anybody's interested in go check that out as well. How's it going, Joe? Oh, it's going good. <laughs> Deadpool's face. So you ready for a uh, some to build? Oh, I'm ready. So you sent me a link to check out uh, before the, we got going. You said not to open it until we got going. Is this the time where I look at this? You look at it, and I'll say why I sent you that. See, um, for everyone listening in, I think this is just a private conversation between us. Uh, I don't know much about Minecraft. I haven't played this game that much. In fact, I think this game is about building stuff until you're playing a completely different game, so... What I just sent Rob there is a picture of Penguin Race. Hang on, you want to explain what Penguin Race is? I have no idea what Penguin Race is. It looks like a water slide to me. It's the penguin goes up the little ladder and slides down. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to uh, be brief and explain this. Penguin Race is a uh, childhood flashback that I had. Um, I, I didn't know it was real until I saw it again for the first time. Little tiny penguins zip around on this track and then are carried up by those stairwell sections. Um, so what I was thinking is, I'd like that built. And I don't have it at my house. So if you could please build me this, probably with snowmen or something, that'd be cool. Oh my god. That is... I gotta... I gotta... I, I switched to my desktop view for the video for recording for a few moments there so people could see this. Just, just in the website is open there. So it, uh... <laughs> Oh, that's that's so good. I uh <laughs> You actually had this as a childhood thing? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep the picture up in my secondary monitor here. Let's go over here. Can you follow me for a minute? Let's go over here a little ways find a You see where I went? Okay. Let's go back here, I think. Get a nice flat area. Now, I know Iron Man can fly. But I think Deadpool is just flying by sheer madness. Deadpool harasses Wolverine until he lets him fly the Blackbird. <laughs> you know, I thought about thinking Wonder Woman's invisible jet right now. Yeah, I got bat vision going on pretty bad right now. Um, the um. I think uh. I thought about changing my image, by the way, using something besides Iron Man, but what's more OP than Iron Man? So, <laughs> okay, let's... Nothing uh, I can think of. He's a billionaire and a drunk. And don't forget genius. Okay. I cannot get this bat vision to go away. Jesus. So, uh, whew. let's actually, you know what? I got a better plan for this. I'm going to do a brief YouTube cut really quick here, but we're going to go find a snow biome. All right, so we got ourselves a nice snow biome going on here. The reason why we had to get a snow biome is because if we're going to be using snowmen for penguin race, then uh, that's obviously going to be the closest we can come in Minecraft for penguins to come up this staircase and this water slide. So we had to get a snow biome so the snowmen can survive in it, because for those of you who don't know, snowmen will melt and die in non-snow biomes. So this whole penguin race thing, I've got a pretty good idea how we're going to do this, but I'm trying to figure out how to do the staircase aspect of it, because when mobs pass when we do monster pathing, we can easily get them down the slide with water, with what, just vanilla water mechanics, but getting them up the slide is going to be the challenge, because they're, they're either going to have to jump up on their own, which might take forever and cause problems with clogging, or we're going to have to force them up in some fashion. So I'm thinking the easiest thing to do, we might have to do a covered section with some pistons, would be my first thought. Or, oh, you know what? Well, hmm. 
Hang on a second. I don't oh. want to break your train of thought, but I want to let you know that this is actually like a legal alibi for me later. So I was here the whole night. Oh. I will definitely make sure to corroborate that. So if you need to go AFK for about an hour, I will definitely... I mean, you're on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so totally hold up. Don't AFK, though, because that, that makes it bad for the explanations. So let me... Let me think of a few things here. There's, um, there's... Hmm. Well, there's a, um... There's a Thawncraft item. That might help us out here, I'm thinking. There is a... Arcane Levitator, but it's straight up. Would that be kind of something? Here, why don't you come over and, and demonstrate this really quick for me? I'm just going to drop this down right here, and if you stand on it, you'll see that you go straight up. Zoop. Huh. And we can make sort of a mountain slide out of that. It will push them up there, and once they get to the top where you're floating, we can then have a piston that shoves them out onto the, uh, onto the water slide. It's not... True, true. Maybe if it would, like, uh, shaped like maybe a, a tube or something that shot him up? Yeah, we can sh we can make it shaped around it however we want to. It's not quite the same as your staircase ele escalator, though. So that's one option. So, like, a couple of those bad boys and uh, have the uh, the slide go right to it? I could use multiple of these, and we can have pistons... It won't It won't actually be an actual escalator, but it will look like it. I can fake this shit. Oh. I like that. Okay, let's fake this shit. So let's get that for... Let me get out a Thomicon really quick so I can show the people at home how to build one of these things. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, the... Uh, Thomcraft is a magical-oriented mod, and when you get started into your Thomcraft career doing magic stuff, it's going to give you a Thomonomicon. You're going to have to research everything uh, for the de purposes of demonstration on these surprise builds and my build spotlights that I do. I have already gotten a Thomonomicon, so everything's already researched. Not that I'm not cheating and can't load them anyways. But uh, just so people can see what I'm making out of the book here, I like to pull out the book when I do a Thomcraft thing. I'm not going to show how to get to the research because it's supposed to be a little bit of a secret. I mean, obviously there's forums out there. If you really want to know, you can go and, and cheat and look them up, how to do the research and everything. But once you've gotten to a point where you've researched these things, what the item we're going to be using today is the Arcane Levitator, which is going to be under Artifice, I believe. Yep, there it is. And you'll need an Arcane Workbench. It's a mostly simple crafting recipe where you're going to get four great wood planks in the corners, a Nitor in the middle, two iron ingots, and two shards, one earth and one air, top and bottom. Those are world gen items. You find those digging. And the Nitor itself is a crucible recipe. You just need to get some uh, Ignis, some Lux, and some Potentia in there and drop a Glowstone in. And that's how you're going to get one of these escalators, or one of these uh, Arcane Levitators. And these things actually respond to Redstone Signal. So if you don't want them on, you can flip a Redstone Signal and turn them off. Where are you going? Center of the Earth, man. Oh, have fun. If you, if you, since you're, since we're cheating and you're in creative mode, if you break out the bottom block into nothingness, you will fall outside the world and you will still die even though you're in creative mode. Just a fair warning. So I can actually dig to China? You can dig to the spawn location, because that's where you'll end up after you die. China, here I come. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get back to building this here. Um, we want, let's see, the snow penguin picture... I'm just going to put it back up on the screen briefly for people to see again. Snow Penguin picture looks to me like we're having a white sort of elevator and a blue sort of ramp. So I say we build this out of snow and ice because it's a penguin thing. What do you think? Well, I found the other side and it was not China. Well, I told you. Now you're at spawn. <laughs> so let's get some... Okay, I found a flying ship that will take me back, so I'll be there in a sec. Okay. Are you actually going to fly the thing over here? <laughs> nah, I'm just flying. The red dot on the map, that's you, right? No, that's something else. But if you press the M button and see the map, you can see the path that we took to get down over here. It wasn't actually that far away. So you're just head southwest. I wonder if you can turn these sideways. If I place these down, maybe with a wrench, can you turn these? Let's try a wrench. No? Damn. 
That does not help me. Hmm. Is there a repulsor, maybe? Replicator. No. I think the piston will work, but it'd be really nice if they could just flow a little easier. I'm going to poke around through a few mod options really quick, YouTube, and we'll be back just as soon as I poke through here a little bit. Alright, guys. So, looking through some mod options, I think I'm going to go with another mod. It's part of an of the Thomcraft mod, except for it's an, it's an add-on mod, so it's actually maintained by a separate person, but it's still part of Thomcraft. This is the Kinetic Attraction mod, uh, this, or actually this is the mod called Thomic Tinkerer, adds us, uh, a mod, adds us another artifice item called the Kinetic Attraction. And there's two types of them. There is the Kinetic Attractor, which pulls items to you, or to it rather, I should say, and then there is the Corporal Attractor, which pulls monsters. It doesn't work on, on PCs, any player characters, other players it won't work on, but it will pull monsters to it. So I'm thinking we can set up like a staircase here where we get the levitator, we'll push them up, and then it'll push up like several blocks or so. And then this thing will operate with redstone signal within a seven block range. So once the, arc, once the kinetic attractor pulls them up a certain distance, then it will pull them over. So let me see if I can uh, just do a quick little uh, quick little test here. Let's try this out really quick. You want to grab a here? Take this gun. It's the gravity gun. If you right click onto a sheep, you'll be able to grab it. Left click will, will launch them crazy distances. So bring it over here and set it on the kinetic, uh, the arcane levitator for me. Above or below? On the on the levitator itself, the thing that floats you upwards. <laughs> hey, look at that! Did you see that? Good times. So as long as we get a, um, what we can do is we can have it pulse on a really relatively slow pulse, and it will pull, it will lift them up and then pull them over, and then there'll be another levitator like right here, like so, which can operate through blocks, and then we can do one of these. How many high did I make this? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should work. We'll come over a few more here. We'll put another tractor with a lever. So he's so that sheep is still there. You see that? Oh yeah. So if we flip this briefly, he'll come over. That lever levitator should have activated. There it goes. That's supposed to be able to operate through the blocks. And our flying pig is in. You want to grab that pig for me really quick? How many times have I heard that? <laughs> grab the pig. So go ahead and set him on that bottom one again. And then this will pull him over. And the next one will catch him. And then this one will pull him over. What do you think? It's looking good. Alright, so we're going to replace those levers with timers in a little while here, so what'll happen is it'll be a relatively slow pulse, and it'll pick them up a little ways, and then pull them over, and then pick them up a little more ways, and then pull them over again. It'll be kind of slow, but I think that, if I, I don't know, was the penguin slide kind of slow? It kind of looks like it, from the picture, it kind of looks like it would uh, just sort of move them up the stairs really slowly, like they go, ee, 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 like how fast did that thing go? Yeah, it was tediously slow. Yeah, so I think that we'll just go with that, and, um, what do you think, do you want four, let's do four stairs, I think four stairs is good. 
I like four. But the real question is, what does the pig get out of this? He gets a fun time having his jollies waving in a breeze. Yeah, do I get the same? Absolutely, you get the same. Seven. So we're doing seven here. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's six. Six is okay. I like six. The problem is the the kinetic attractors they can pull within a seven block range, depending on the redstone signal. Actually, it depends on the redstone signal they get really. So if we make it so that they're only receiving us weaker redstone signal, that should be perfectly fine. I'm gonna pop daytime again here. So we'll get this over here. We had six, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. And then we'll get that over here. I like this. This is looking good. So... And this will be the start of the slide up here. How's that look? Uh, I'm just thinking, what did the pig say to the ground? Oink. Squeal? Splat. Splat. <laughs> All right, so we have to use, this isn't going to look exactly flawless, obviously, because it's a block game, but we're going to use some glass, I think, so that we can see them moving through it, but so that they can't get out. So just some glass walls, I'm thinking, is going to be good. Actually, let's use, um, let's use more mods. That's part of this whole build thing, is extra mods, right? We're blending vanilla mechanics right now with some Thomcraft and some Atomic Tinker. Let's get some glass out here called clear glass. This is clear glass from Tinker's Construct. And all you do is you melt as sand. As opposed to stone glass? As opposed to stone glass, yes. That probably wouldn't work too well. But the clear glass is just made in a smeltery. I'm not going to get into the mechanics of making a smeltery, but uh, for those of you who look up any sort of videos on making smelteries, I may do one in the future. You just melt down glass, or you melt down sand, you get molten glass, and you cast it. And this stuff, you can see through perfectly. What do you think of that? Oh, and the difference is it doesn't have those wacky streaks? Yeah. Those always did struck me as kind of comic book looking. Yeah, they're a little odd, to be sure. But hey, we'll uh, we'll get this running here. Okay. So we'll get some glass. So it's less of penguin race and more of penguin shoot. Well, you know, <laughs> we can't have the mobs escaping because you know, in the penguin. The Penguin Mountain there on the Penguin Race, it looks to me like they will very cooperatively just kind of go up their stairs and run down. Monsters in Minecraft, not so cooperative. They might try to get out, and we don't want that. Would sort of defeat the purpose. This is how the vacuum tubes at bank tellers work. Nobody had any idea, but the vacuum tubes of bank tellers, even though they don't use those anymore, oh. operates on Thomic Tinkers. Alright, Peg, you're in the way. Oh. Get out of here. Okay, so now we got the glass sides here so that they can't escape in the tube. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to set this up so that... This is going to be the top of the chute. So they'll go up a couple stairs here. It won't be quite so many stairs in the picture there, but uh, we'll get some stairs going on here. So this is going to be water slide effect going on right here. Remember the water slide parks? You ever go to those as a kid? Oh yeah. The best part was uh, uh, making everyone freak out when you get up on the high jab. Were you, did you brave the high dive? Oh, I did, and I was the biggest kid up there. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually braved the high dive. 
All right, so water flows out. The best part is at the good water parks, somebody has to be up there watching that. It's someone's job to watch other people go on water slides. Really? Wouldn't it be fun to be that lifeguard? Like, what do you do for a living? I watch other people have fun. <laughs> Sour about that. You probably get one of those jocks that thinks it's like a noble duty. Like he's like, he's like, people's lives rest in my hands. I save lives for a living. Yep. <laughs> okay, so water will flow out eight blocks in any direction. That's that's more vanilla mechanics. So we could get this going like that too. Let's see. So starting out, the first block where you place the water source is going to be block one. So we go two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will go out seven, and the water will flow off the end for the eighth block. So we're right here, we're going to come down one, I think. And it looks like, according to the picture, they make a left. So let's make a left really quick here. You like how this is looking with the eyes? Yeah, it's looking pretty slick. Very, uh, very cold. <laughs> it's looking slick. <laughs> uh, I got a friend that makes terrible ass puns, and that was along his lines. Well done. So we don't need to encase the top up here, because they're not going to be going up from this point onwards. They're just going to be sliding down the water. So, assuming that the water hits here, it's going to go off the very endmost part. So this one here will hit here. And it'll go out eight from this point, or should. So we're going to go out two, three, four, five, six. But just to make sure, I think we'll stop at six. And we'll come down here again. Actually, why don't you grab that sheet for me, if you don't mind, really quick. Again? How many times have I heard that? Are you a, are you a, are you an amateur farmer in your off hours? I wouldn't call it farming, more just going on to farm. Cow tipping, among other things. So uh, uh, throw them in. Leak. Hang on, we got a leak. There we go. So yeah, go ahead and throw him in there. Just, let's make sure that he goes uh, goes all the way down. And what off? I think he's uh, fighting the current there. Well, they're mobs, they will. Just accept it, man. Go in. <laughs> well, you did Let say Jack Frost win. You did say it was tediously slow, right? So. Down he goes. Cling on, cling on, little buddy. Ah, <laughs> oh. yeah, he didn't make it. That's okay. He did what we needed him to do. He did what any good sheep is expected to do. That's right. He gave he he gave his best. Let's do a little bit of a. Uh, Wacky, zany, curvy bit here. What do you think? I don't know what zany is, but I like it. Can't really make uh, those little, those round corners in the slides in a block game, but uh, we, we'll, do, we'll do our best to make an a, a, uh, impression of it. Alright guys, welcome back. Just had to get the uh, slide figured out. As you can see, we raised it up quite a bit, just, a, just another stair level up. And I'm just finishing up the touches in the bottom of the slide ramp down here. Got the uh, walls all finished up. So as you can see, everything's looking good here. As far as the picture itself is concerned, 
it went down and around one and then came down and around for a second loop and then came down through the middle before coming back. So this is going to be solid here in a few moments. We're going to get the kinetic attractors running on a timer, I think, is what's going to happen next. Did this melt? Ah, that melted. I guess those torches still aren't high enough. The only thing that you got to worry about is with water melting, or with the ice freezing. So since we're in a snow biome, when we put the water down here, it's going to freeze. So you got to have the torches to kind of help keep the water from freezing. And I had them down really low before, and it just melted this whole area here. So since that melted right there, that means that they can melt down by four blocks. So we're going to put it up there, and then that will keep the water from thawing without melting up here, hopefully. Looks like we got Joe testing out the uh, slide. It almost feels like I'm trapped. <laughs> okay, so what we got to do next is get these on a timer. Shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so what we're going to do now is we need to get set up with a way to turn this machine on and off. And we need to have a way for these attractors to pull the snowmen as they come up at certain times. We don't want them pulling except for when we want them to pull. Because we want the... Uh, the uh, arcane levitator to have enough of a time to raise them up to get pulled over. So they're going to be raised up, pulled over, raised up, pulled over. And because the levitators are always going to be on, we want these kinetic attractors, or the corporeal attractors, to be pulling the mobs over at certain times. So what we're going to do is we're going to pulse those with a, with a switchboard, but we want to be able to turn it on and off, is the whole idea here. So we want to be able to make it so that those are pulling at certain times, and switch these off as we want to. So we're going to stick a lever here, and if we put, take a wire here and stick it on the back, uh, we're going to be using some uh, wire logic and gate logic from a mod called Red Logic. So for anybody that may be familiar with the old Red Power mod that added in all kinds of redstone logic and redstone wiring, this basically mod is basically does the exact same thing. And it's called. It's going to. We're going to take a NOR gate and a timer. And we're going to use some wireless receivers and a transmitter, which is from a different mod called WR-CBE Logic. And these are going to be giving us the ability to transmit the wireless signals to minimize our wiring. Uh, however, if you don't have the wireless receivers installed and just have some of the red logic, then you can do it with just wired. But we're going to do some wireless. So I'm going to set this up so that as soon as we turn this lever on, it's going to turn on the wire, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a NOR gate. The NOR gate is made just three redstone, three vanilla redstone, and a redstone torch at the top, like so. Three along the center, one the bottom, towards the top. And, of course, the redstone torch is made just like any other torch. But instead of using a piece of charcoal, you're going to be using a piece of redstone and a stick. So we're going to take the NOR gate, and we're going to set it like so. Wait, that's the timer. There we go. And what this is going to do for us is it will only output a signal if it's not getting one. So basically all this does is it inverts the signal. So when the signal is off, it's outputting a signal. When the signal is on, it is not outputting a signal. So that's all it does. And the reason why we're doing that is to take the timer, which we're going to set to, I think, about four seconds. We'll try that out see how that works out. The timer is going to be rotating if it's not getting a signal. So basically you want to turn your lever on to turn on the machine. So it's going to invert the signal and, and let the timer run, like so. You can see the timer will pulse. How's it look, Joe? I see blinky lights, so I assume everything's working well. Blinky lights are always a good thing. And then we're going to take our wireless transmitter, and we're going to switch this to frequency 1. Should I uh, tell them where they can get these mods? Yeah. If you'd like to download these mods, uh, just go to the hardware store, pick up a shovel, and you can go to Radio Shack for switches. <laughs> Indeed. And then we'll get this to come down, and we'll set this wireless receiver here with a timer. Timer will be set to 4 seconds, and this will be set to 1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set this up in such a way that the NOR gate, because it outputs its signal only when it's getting a signal, we can cross these wires like this. That way the timer, we're gonna, the, the, when the signal turns on with the lever, it will turn off the NOR gate, which will allow the timer to run, and turn off the signal being sent to the Arcane Levitator, which will allow it to run as well. 
Make sense? Because we have to invert the signal so the timer can run. And then we have to turn off the signal. And if it is sending mixed signals, the uh, snowman will actually not know whether it's in the friend zone or not. <laughs> Getting friend zoned is a terrible time. No matter who you are. Do I hit the switch now? No. The wireless receiver is made with some stone slabs, an obsidian rod, and a wireless transceiver, and two redstone. The stone slabs are just three cooked stone, gets you six of them. Two redstone, the vanilla redstone, the obsidian stick is going to be what you're going to go with, which is just the same as recipe as a stick, but with obsidian, gets you two of them. And the receiver is going to be a stick and a wreather pearl. Obsidian stick and a reader pearl. The obsidian stick is just an ender pearl surrounded by glowstone and redstone. And the receiver is going to be the exact same sort of recipe, except for instead of having just the uh, the transceiver, you have the dish, which is the stone bowl and the wireless receiver. Stone bowl is just three stone, so it's pretty simple. But again, if you don't have the wireless, you can just simply. You having fun? Huh, what? I like the part where you asked if you should flip the switch. And I said no, and you just started doing it anyway. <laughs> Go ahead and flip the switch. Well, I had to make sure all this is on the up and up. Yeah. No, sw switch it and leave it on. Because we, we, we need to let it run for four seconds so we can make sure that this transceiver will receive a signal from that wireless receiver. Did you leave it on? So that should pulse for four seconds. Yep, I saw a blink. Nice. We're gonna need to. I think we're gonna need a repeater though, because that doesn't let it run for very long. So hang on, let's try this. We're going to move the transceiver out one, set that to signal one, and let's get a repeater. That's just a vanilla repeater set with, circled with redstone, which is just three stone, two redstone torches, and a redstone. The repeater is going to allow us to delay the signal slightly. So once once this gets a signal, you have to operate this with your yeah sneak redshift. There we go. So the more you back the torch up here with the screwdriver, the more of a delay it's going to get when it gets a signal. So if it's all the way up, it's only going to delay it just a slight bit. So let's demonstrate that now. We'll switch the lever. The signal will come through, and it will almost instantly go to the transceiver. See? But if we shift right-click, there will be a delay. It'll wait for a brief pause, and then go. And if we back it up a few more, waits, and then it puts it on there. Waits, and then puts it through. So back it up even more. It's going to wait an even longer period of time, and then set it for, for a longer few seconds. So we're going to need to adjust this timer to 8 seconds. Because we want the kinetic attractor to activate for long enough to pull monsters to it. See that? I think that looks good. Dear Diary, today I watched Iron Man fiddle with a switch for almost 30 minutes. That it was glorious. That happens way more often than you'd like, but for those people who are trying to learn red logic, this is actually helpful. For those of you who don't play this game much there, Joe, that was probably boring as hell. Apologies. <laughs> red as opposed to, like, you know, orange logic. Well, that's just what it was called, because in game there's no orange stone. So there. Now we'll get wireless receivers set up on every single one of these. There we go. Set that to one. Set that to one. And I think we can place against no. I'll have to make this one single thing snow. Oh well. Actually no. We can set the uh, first one to snow. That'll be good. And we'll set that to one as well. And then for the kinetic attractors, we can put this against the side. Can this rotate with the screwdriver? 
No. Hmm. How about a wrench? Yep. Okay. So just any vanilla wrench. Buildcraft wrench. Uh, Crescent hammer from thermal expansion may also work. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this one to frequency 2. And we'll set this one to frequency 2. And this one to frequency 2. That way, when the whole machine is off, the kinetic attractors won't work as well. So what will end up happening is you're going to end up with a giant clogged bit of snowman down here when the machine is not ready. It'll be like a giant snowman sausage fest. What do you think of that? Wouldn't it be carrot fest? It'd actually be pumpkin fest because they're not made out of carrots. They're made out of pumpkins. And if you want this to look nice and neat, you can just cover everything up with a little bit of snow. We can make this look like a building. And I think we're going to because uh, looking at the picture again, let me get the picture up on screen really quick here. It's actually like a mountain sort of setup, and there's stairs going up a mountain, and on the other side of the stairs is a sheer cliff right here. So really, we want this to actually look as close to the picture as possible, I think. So we are going to make this into sort of like a building. Obviously, there's going to be some margin for error, but hey. All right, we'll get the snow turned off here. What do you think? Is that starting to look like your mountain? I think that uh, looks pretty good. So we got our bucket of water. Let's activate the water slide here. And I saved Afro Sheep. You saved Afro Sheep. <laughs> well, with the water we saw go down a little while ago, I think, once we got everything set up the right way. So the water gets all the way down to the bottom. And uh, pretty much does what it needs to do. So we know that they're going to, we know he's going to get down there. We just need to see if the uh, conveyor itself works. So. Why don't you go ahead and go down there and switch the switch? Oh, the water froze again. Hmm. Gonna have to figure out some way to keep this water from freezing. I guess we'll lower those torches again. should thaw that out. There we go. So I don't think the torches can melt the snow, so we'll just leave that there. There we go. Now we're running. Should we get some snowmen going? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, water hurts snowmen. Interesting. So do we have a uh, replacement? Well, let's see what kind of monsters we got. We don't have penguins. So snowmen's not going to work. Penguins aren't going to work. See what we got access to. So now we should have a nice, uh, nice curve going on here. Did I pop a leak? Oh, did you? Oh, I can just see through the glass. Interesting. <laughs> Ha. Huh.
So let's get a few NPCs going down here. Somehow this is a metaphor for communism, I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you think so, do you? And they're off! Little Pekka leading the pack, and leading the pack behind him is Smarty's Wild! Sniffs cocaine is a bum leg, it is in the back! So I got the machine switched on, so this should be pulsing the way it needs to. As soon as the uh, NPCs get down to the bottom, we should see if this works. Oh, come on, get you some! <laughs> huh. They're not sure what huh. the is. Oh, the attractor pulled him over. Did you see that? I think it actually might have been the other guy that pushed him over. Nope. Oh, there it goes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, wait. Who put Davy Crockett in this thing? Davy Crockett. <laughs> Ah, uh, this villager made it all the way up to the top, and he started over. He is the winner. That one was Sniff's Cocaine, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, behind him is uh, Smarty's Wild, and uh, behind him is Little Pecker. Right, right. <laughs> Got a little bit of a weird graphics glitch with him poking through the top there, but oh well. That totally works. And just like the real thing, it's a little bit agonizingly slow to watch. A little bit sad that uh, the snowmen die in the water. For some reason, I, I derped and spaced on, the, on that fact. But hey, totally works. So you asked me to build you a childhood memory. What do you think? Well, now I can actually ride it with the uh, penguins, which is all that really matters. Except the kinetic. Oh, if you'll excuse me. Yes? Oh no, I just meant that uh, I'm going to be writing this for a while and I'm going to need to go pantsless also, so uh, I need some time. <laughs> Alright, well. Huh. You go ahead and uh, ride your... Uh... Is it just me or did a couple escape? No, I think that one got spawned down there on accident. <laughs> well, you enjoy your slide, your water slide with your childhood memory, and uh, enjoy doing it pantsless. And uh, in the meantime, I think this is a pretty successful build. You happy with this build? I'm happy with this build. Uh, you're going to need to check back in a couple hours. If I'm still here, call the police. That means that I'm not actually alive in real life. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, well, build complete. I think we're all set to go from now on. This has been Rob the OP Gamer. That was your prompt, bro? Huh? Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the water slide. I can't hear you from here. And this was Joe the Revelator in the water slide. And, uh... Don't forget that you can check out all of my OP Gaming Live on my stream and Twitter at Rob the OP Gamer, as well as on YouTube and... Twitch and Facebook at the same links. Hope everybody had no pee time. Catch you later.